did the second law begin at the fall? Uh, no, definitely not. And the reason I say that, because people seem to misunderstand that uh, the arguments in thermodynamics, it talks about entropy. Now, entropy is loosely related to to disorder, but it's it's not really quite like that. It's a bit more subtle than that. You see, so there's some things that we regard as good that are still uphill in entropy, like um, when you eat food and digest it, you see, you're breaking down the molecules of the food and your body's gonna build it up again. So digestion is definitely increasing disorder, but we don't seem to mind that too much. You know, the sun shining light and heat onto the earth, that's a classical example of entropy going up, but we know the sun lit and heated the earth before the fall. So entropy was definitely um, operating there. Um, you can bake a cake. How do you bake a cake? You, you you break the egg and you mix the flour, you mix the salt, the sugar, whatever you have there, the yeast, okay? And so what do you do there? You mix it up. Now try and get the eggs, flour, sugar, and salt back again. You can't do yeah, it, well, right? Well, and you bake yeah, a cake. Well, what do you do when you bake it? You're, you're actually disordering the protein molecule, denaturing proteins. So the egg protein denatures, binds the whole thing. And the yeast or the baking powder um, – decomposes, releases gas into the into the cake and makes it all fluffy, you see. These are all entropy-increasing processes that we regard as good. Yet yeah, we know believe that, it or not, mm, believe well, it or not, we still get uh, people who are um, mechanical engineers and claim to know the um, second law, uh, use the example of um, uh, snowflakes and uh, oh, yeah. ice and salt crystals as, as some argument against entropy. Okay, that's a different topic. So I addressed that in my book by design. It's actually coming out on a new edition soon. Okay, but my, my book, the by design, I talk about crystals and how they are irrelevant to uh, the argument from design, uh, because see, a crystal is actually a low. Uh, energy structure. It's a very ordered structure. There's, there's, there's not much information in a crystal. It's a repetitive structure. You see, you've got to, a, a unit cell, you repeat it, you see. And the six fold structure is you've got randomness, but you're repeating it six fold because of the way the water molecules um, bond and go to their lowest energy state. There's not much information in a crystal or a salt crystal. In fact, you could, if you break up a salt crystal, you just get more tinier salt crystals. You don't, don't change anything really, just getting more smaller version of the same thing. But if you break up a protein or DNA, you're destroying the whole thing. And, okay, so and, and uh, it doesn't work. It, it's, it's a case, that, like in my first book, Refuting Evolution, that's about 20 something years old now. Um, I talk about the difference between the order of a crystal is more like saying A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, repeating the same thing. But the order of a protein is more like the works of Shakespeare. It's not repetitive, but it's also not random. So we, what life has to have, it can't be uh, ordered and low information like a crystal, but it also can't be random. It must be a specified, um, but not a regular pattern, though. That's the thing about living things. Like this Refuting Evolution, Chapter 9, I talk about that. Yeah, I, f I find it surprising that they use the ice example because clearly in the formation of ice, we, you have uh, the removal of heat, which, which, is a, which is an entropy, which is an increase in entropy. Well, you see, what happens, the ice crystallizes and releases heat into, uh, into the surrounding, so it means the overall entropy of the, the universe is going up in that process because the, the increase yeah. of entropy in the surroundings balances the loss of entropy in the ice crystal. Okay, so the idea is that the overall entropy incre uh, is going to in, uh, increase no matter what you do. So the body growing, we're going to increase entropy in the process. I mean, everything we do increases entropy. But I'll go post a link of an, an old article of mine where I talk about the crystals and also the view um, of entropy of, of the second law and the fall. So I, I talk about um, both of those in this ancient article. Don't paste it below there. Well, those yeah, are some great answers. Uh, uh, go ahead, sorry, Jordan. Go, you have a question. I, I was just going to finish off uh, in in our engineering course, and mm -hmm. I'm going back quite a few years now, probably over probably forty years or so. Oh wow! Uh, <laughs> yeah, we were introduced to uh, thermodynamics, and one of the things they, they they taught us, and it stuck into my head: the total entropy is always yes. increasing. It's yes. the total entropy. 
And yeah. you look at from a universe point of view, the total entropy is always increasing. So exactly, 